Hey everyone, my name is Root, and we are here. This is going to be week number 10, I believe, of the GDL, the Galaga Defenders League, and this is going to be the final week against Vepsis. Now, uh, we've battled him in the late stages of a bunch of leagues at this point, and um, he's often been the gatekeeper on my playoff chances, and uh, this match would have been different um, if some things had gone differently, obviously, over the season. And yeah, obviously, I had a rough beginning of the season. I really think I'm out of cont contention now. Um, something really crazy would have to happen. I'd pretty much have to 6 of Epsis to even have a chance to get in here at this point. But um, this match is going to be pretty much for fun, just to try to beat Epsis with some kind of um, semi-creative stuff. And I want to see, I want to test out a few things, um, just against them and see how well they do. Before this matchup, I really don't have any kind of contention opportunities. I don't even think I could affect, I can affect seeding because his differential so high. Regardless, I just kind of want to have fun with this match. I want to see what I can do against Vepsis if I can kind of catch him off guard with, some, with certain things. And honestly, with how rough of an early season I had, uh, I don't even mind too much that I was able to pull it back a little bit and we're only one or two strong games away from this match actually mattering. So uh, that's going to be wh where we're at. I'm going to get into this match now and I'm really excited to see what the heck he brought for me here. So we will see the G-Max Grimmsnarl, the Boltund, the Rotom Heat, Skarmory, and... Dragapult. I keep wanting to see Dragon. I don't know why. Okay, um, but let's see here. Okay. So right off the bat, no Celebi. No Celebi is huge. No Heracross is huge. No Snorlax is huge. No Quagsire is nuts to me. No Qu He brought a lot. Okay, so realistically, I did not expect this Boltun to come. I did not expect this Boltun to come, even a little bit. Um, I also... Oh, no. The Snorlax is there. I'm sorry. Um, Realistically, I thought either the Quagsire or the Quillfish would absolutely come over the bolt hunt here uh so that surprises me a lot but we are going to do whatever the heck we can i really he probably wants to try to stop my pre-marine of anything uh with two electric types okay 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 um i really think pre-marine is kind of worth, worth leading off with or maybe obstacle is more worth leading off with um, I'm going to lead off with this thing. We're going to see how that goes. I mean, the only thing that would truly punish this play would be, I guess, the Bolton leading. Um, obviously, burning G-Max early would be nuts, but I think in this case, we're, it's really... So, okay, but the things that, that Cinderace, I thought, would kind of stop more are kind of not here. I guess, I guess it could be valuable against the... Dragapult. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure yet. I have no idea what that's going to be. That it is going to be the Bolton, which is pretty much worst case scenario. I kind he he probably expected me to to, to want to lead off with the with the. I'm just gonna Powerball. He, he he probably expected me to want to lead off with the, yeah. It does withdraw. That's kind of what I expected. I I, I almost wanted a U-turn, but uh, it didn't feel worth it in that moment. It does go off out, off into this thing. Uh, I'd be curious if this thing is scarfed, um, but I think he can definitely tell that I'm adamant, but uh, I'm just going to click U-turn and I'm going to try to, or maybe I should just see what thing. No, I should, I, I should probably click U-turn. What are you turn into? You're going to go for it. I'm going to try to click Super Fang here. Can I tell anything? Oh, also, it's, it's probably Heavy Duty Boots. Goes for the Reflect, which is fine, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's very likely super defensive. I can U-turn. I probably want to U-turn out into... Maybe I would Taunt? I don't know. I'm going to click U-turn here. Uh, I would probably want to just U-turn out into... Hmm. I really do want to make this play here. But I also think it's kind of not great. If he just goes for a Volt Switch. I think a Volt Switch is super duper likely here. And I kind of put myself in a bit of an uh, interesting position. I'm going to do this. Um, This is kind of one of those uh, weeks where this thing is just meant to kind of poke holes a little bit. Um... 
Goes for the pain split. I knew I should have taunted. I knew, I knew in my brain that the pain split was such a possibility here. I knew it. Oh, that's so frustrating. I, I hundred percent knew it. Oh, I swear I knew. I swear I knew it was coming. I swear I knew it was coming. I probably should have taunted anyway, just because of any, you know, rest possibilities. Oh, but I'm really frustrated on myself. Okay. This thing comes out. I don't know, man. It's definitely not impossible that things just kind of spiral from here, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. What I really want to do is I want to get my Cinderace back in for free as much as possible. Um, hmm. Could this be worth No. I mean, I did say that this thing was expendable. Maybe, maybe I could, um, maybe, maybe I could set up on this a little bit. I mean, if I see Toxic, then I'll be really upset, kind of. Uh, he could just go for the curse, I guess. He could try, try to curse, goes for a body slam. Uh, and gets paralyzed right away, so that's neat. But, I should have speed this thing anyway. Why didn't I make Necrozma so- Oh, I made Necrozma as fast as it is for the- for a no-speed Celebi. That's what I did. Um. I'll see how much I can get off with a Photon Geyser, although... Um. We'll see. I mean, apparently... Man, that actually might be just about right for, for a really specially defensive one. And I don't have Moonlight on this thing. Um, I, I mean, I'm just waiting for this thing to rest, in all honesty. I really think this thing is going to want to rest. But... Um... The Reflector's off. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's so many possibilities here, and I really don't want to get caught with just kind of out of position here. I'd be curious... I don't know what this is. This is this thing. Okay, okay. Um, he might honestly think that I am, that I am Mono Psychic because I have run that before, in, in, especially in front of Grim Snarls, but, um, this thing could try to set up on me, although, uh, I really just want to get a Heat Wave off, I think, um, goes for the Darkest Lariat, uh, I don't think we take one, I mean, maybe the Prism Armor, no we don't, okay, that's fine, that's totally fine. So where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Uh, where do we go from here? I think I just do this. And then we try to figure some things out. I'd be surprised. I don't know. I guess I wouldn't be too surprised if this thing had Thunder Wave. Although, it'd be pretty bad if he did. Um, let's see. Let's see if I could force any, any to kind of switch here. Yeah, I, yeah, I think he... Kind of expects me to have something for this thing. Goes back into this thing. And I think the obvious play is to just go out into... Go out into the Prim Arena and set up a sub. And then from there, I mean... The obvious play, I guess, would be to go out, out into Bolt Hunt. He could Bolt Switch out, in, out into Bolt Hunt. Um... Which would be pretty bad. I mean, it, it, it'd be bad if he breaks the sub, but realistically, he's going to break the sub, I think. Um, we'll see. We'll see. An absolute no investment. Does hard switch, so might not even have the wall switch. I mean, we've seen... We've seen reflect. Okay. Okay. I'll have to think about that. We've seen Reflect, Pain Split. I guess I'll have to think about what else. But, um... I think I'm okay to kind of just hit this thing. This thing could absolutely rest, but if it rests, I think the first thing I have to do is go out in a Noctowl. Right? Even though Noctowl... I mean, Noctowl allows... 
Noctowl has to miss a move in order to do damage against the Bolton, realistically. But... I think... I mean, honestly, what I can do is go out into... I try to make a hard switch out into... Obstagoon here. Because once I really get this Obstagoon going, um, that's going to be really interesting for me, I think. But this is already turning out to be a really slow Vepsis game, and Vepsis games uh, tend to... On, on the old timer, went on for 60 minutes. Um, but yeah, just goes for the rest, of course. There we see it. There wouldn't be a Vepsis match without it. It would not be a Vepsis match without it. But let's see here. Because I I wouldn't be surprised to see a direct switch out into the Skarmory. Um, especially on this type of play here. Although Yeah, Fasashi should be doing a lot of damage. It could honestly be defensive just to take Yeah, okay. Okay, we do get the momentum going a little bit. I that might be the Skarmory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. We're getting certain things going here. We're getting certain things going here. In particular, I mean, in particular, I, I think it, I think this might be a moment to just G-Max here. This might be a moment to just G-Max here. Although, what would realistically want to come in on this Pyro Ball? Uh, yeah, I think I I think I click Super Fang here. I think I'd definitely click Super Fang here and see where that takes me. Because I think the Rotom comes in, and now I definitely taunt the Rotom. Now I definitely taunt the Rotom. Um, and then that'll allow me to get off a U-turn on the next turn. And it'll be getting me going somewhere. I keep thinking that I have to target my moves, but it, just playing a, a, a bit of EGC makes me think that I, that I have to target my moves after I select them, but uh, not having to do that is kind of interesting. It's kind of weird to me in this moment. But okay, okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Can't use Pain Split. Exactly. I really wish I'd done that earlier because it would have saved me a lot of HP on my Necrozma, probably. Um. But now can you turn here? He probably might have only one attack, and now he's going to have to reveal it now. It could, again, be the Volt Switch, but it's difficult to say right now what, what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know what I want to do here. I think this is ultimately what I want in, no matter what happens. If this... I don't know. What would this thing... I want to go for the Volt Switch. Okay, so it's... It, it's I mean, it's interesting that, that he didn't want a Volt Switch earlier, but I think this is fine. Um... I don't know. Could def yeah, he's he's definitely gonna want to go in into the Bolton almost definitely. Um, Bolton seems right to me. And then I have to hard switch, but I really don't. Losing to Krozma that early was pretty bad for me, on in honesty. No, goes into this thing. Okay, because. Uh, he doesn't know how physically defensive I am. I, I'd be surprised if this isn't a physically offensive, um, boy. But I am very, I'm very physically defensive. Or not very, but I'm moderately physically defensive. And, yeah, we take that, I mean, okay, not great. But, uh, it, it but he knows what he's doing. He, he's definitely limiting my, my options in terms of switching in and out, um, repeatedly. So, Definitely good, good play to him there, but uh, we'll, we'll get a knockoff on this thing, and I think a follow-up close combat should, at the very least, start to net us some KOs here. Um, but yeah, that's just a lot of damage to be taking here. Now I could just let this thing go down now, but I think he knows that that is, or I don't know close combat, but but um, facade should be able to do it, I think. Um. And if I am able, that that's nowhere near doing it. Okay, no, that's fair. That's totally fair. But I think I will go down here, potentially. Um, and then, and then, I probably. Uh, 
Uh, I don't go down, which is honestly mildly worse. I think if I go down here, then... Then I... Then I go into Premier I probably should have just gone into, into Premier Inn now. It, it, it would have given him a little bit more HP, but at this point, I don't think that matters a whole heck of a lot. But I still do believe that my Wincon is... Is... You know what? <laughs> I was gonna go in, in, in Premier Inn, but then I just I just thought to myself, let's not go into Premier Inn, you know? You know? You ever think just not doing that? Uh, we're gonna try to miss Hypnosis early on. Because realistically, uh, it does withdraw. Can we miss a hypnosis? Er no, that's, that's not going to count for blunder policy. Um, I think he knew. I think he knew. What I can do, I mean, I can try to nasty pawn, get some things going here, and. I mean, from here, if I'm able to take this thing out, I mean, obviously that would be insane. And I think that's the first turn of sleep. He will get the sleep talk off. Um, I mean, a rest here would be fantastic. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Dope, 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 dope. Now, what can I realistically expect Noctowl to do here? I can Snorlax at plus two. Um... We will see. I don't think it's I, I don't think it's especially defensive as this um thing suggests. This is a potential two at KO. No, okay. So it's very especially defensive. But Um I think no matter what next turn I click hypnosis. And I mean he crashed potentially a lot of damage. Okay. Uh We're going to see if I can make some, something happen here. Because I think he almost has to rest here, right? Either he rests here or, 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 or doesn't. Um, I guess if he doesn't rest here, then... Just goes for the body slam. Okay. That should take me out. Oh, it doesn't take me out. Okay, okay. Well, now I just straight up have to land a hypnosis. And I have to miss a follow-up... I have to miss a follow-up... Hurricane. As he as he sleep talks in a rest, we do land the hypnosis. Now, can he? Does he sleep talk right now? He doesn't. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Dope. 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 Now, if I could, if I could, miss a hur miss a hurricane, as he gets um sleep talk rest, then we're cooking someone. That does that doesn't even mean anything. We're either cooking with gas. Oh, here we go. We're either cooking with gas or we're going somewhere. We're not cooking somewhere. What does that mean? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, wakes up immediately. Goes for the sleep talk. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so now I believe we're at plus four. And I think we have to assume that this is a pretty much max special defense boy. But now I have to land another hypnosis in order to really start doing things. Um, you do have to be the, the entire team. Obviously, I can get Sucker Punched. Obviously, I can get Sucker Punched. Um, by the Dragapult, but we do outspeed the entire team. We do outspeed the entire team. And it looks like from here, it looks like from here, Hurricane... Well, no, I have to be a plus six first. So... Let's see if these sleep turns can work out for me again. As I nasty plot up to plus six, so our plus six, plus two Noctowl. We have to be the entire team barring scarfs. And sleep talking to rest. Come on. Come on, do it for me one time. Ah! I tried. I tried to make it happen, but I had to get to plus six because because the, the only way that I was going to be, be able to take out the Snorlax was a plus six. So I had to be able to do it. I had to be able to do it. So that's unfortunate. I might just take this opportunity. I might just take this opportunity to to start doing some things here with the boy, with the lad. 
Now, he could he, he could give this thing to me. I don't know. I don't know how to play this. We're going to click Swords Dance. If he goes into... He goes into this first. Okay. Okay. This thing could have Whirlwind. It probably has Whirlwind, in all honesty. But... If we're plus two... I guess we just go for it regardless, right? It's time for us to, to just go for it regardless. And if we KO, we KO. We don't KO. Uh, he could... Mm, I don't know. Do you see the we see the brave bird. This probably KOs me. That's probably my, my that's probably my win con gone. But I had to go for something, right? So so obviously the plan would be if I if I was able to bait in the if I was able to bait in the the if I was able to KO, then it probably baits in the the my I keep wanting to say my Otis man, but I know it's something else. What what's it called? Um. Then I can bait in the. I can bait in the thing, the Grim Snarl. If I could bait in the the, 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 the Grim Snarl, it probably just Max Star falls me. I, I pop the Roselli Berry. Although at, this, at that point I'm at minus one, so it probably doesn't matter at that point anyway, right? I knew this thing would want to come in. Um, so now I can start to just G Max hit things, right? I don't think there's any reason not to. There's really no reason not to. Although maybe Max Flutterbly is better just because... Actually, Max Strike might be better because it beats in... Yeah, Max, Max Strike should be always better, right? Although... I mean, no meme. I didn't realize that um, that Super Fang turns itself into Max Strike. I thought it would be an, an, another Max Guard. But best case scenario would be... Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. It's not, it's not important. I think I've showed off all my moves, but at this point it doesn't matter. Um, This thing's not gonna, not gonna be able to set up a Reflect. Um, I don't think my Snor my my Snorlax, my Cinderace could ever win this matchup in particular because of the Bolt Hunt. But it can put some dents into the team, and then Bolt Hunt just beats my Premier anyway, and then yeah, it's fine. But I think I, I think I could never beat Bolt Hunt from, from this position. But uh, I can make it interesting, right? Uh, he, he's in a position where he never really has to give me Bolt Hunt ever, so. I'd have to think about how to manage that. Um, although, G-Max Grimstar probably just comes in and, you know, does what it needs to do here. It doesn't. Okay. I mean, Max Flutterbly is probably just better. Oh, no! Fireball ignores abilities, so it ignores Thick Fat. Oh! That's hilarious. Okay. Now we're, now, now we're getting somewhere, right? I completely... Forgot about that until just now, and you get a straight up KO. I think he forgot about that as well. I, I genuinely do think he forgot about that as well. Um, because Snorlax is obviously great against my team with Thick Fat, but without Thick Fat, uh, it just gets fodder off. I think, I think honestly, if, if he really wanted something to fodder off, he would have foddered off the, the Skarmory first because, um, the Skarmory can lose to, to the Primarina, whereas the Snorlax can 1v1 the, the Primarina in certain, depending on, you know, rolls and whatnot and, you know, the whole thing. Um, I'd be very, very curious to see if he takes a turn to try to, to, um, what's the word, to Thunder Wave me, to, to prank show Thunder Wave me, but, um, yeah, I think, yeah, that's fine. So, actually, yeah, the Bolton still beats me. Bolton, dude. Dang Bolton, dude. Probably should should have thought stronger about what my options here were. It's fine. I think I think it'd be fine though. This potentially gets a KO. I mean, it's at seventy five percent. No, no, nowhere near. It's fine. This thing could have been very defensive. It, it, knowing Vest is, it probably is very defensive. But and of course we got drowsy, dude. Of course we get drowsy, dude. He's gonna max guard too. There's, there's, there's nothing I could do about about the max guard. Nothing I could do about the max guard, unless I don't know, unless I U-turn on the no. 
I could, I could make a super aggressive play. I mean, it, I mean, if I ever face the Bolton behind a sub, then I have a chance. But I think the Dragapult stops me from ever seeing behind a sub. I think the Bolton stops me from ever being behind a sub. But I definitely think no, this one other Max moves. That's interesting. I thought he would have just let me go to sleep through through, through Max Guard. But I mean, it, it, it's fine. Again, I never beat the Bolton guys. So um. And even that, that I do now is just is just kind of um, doing stuff. Oh, did I get drowsy again? I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. Am I drowsy? Will this tell me if I'm drowsy? I don't think it'll tell me. But either way, um, it doesn't matter the most. Um, I just moonblast and potentially KO this thing. Um, yeah, yeah. Primarina picks up the KO. It does get another KO for Primarina. Um, but yeah, Bolt Hunter just always beat so I really do from this position. There's nothing really to be done from this position. Um. Yeah, I mean, but, uh, honestly, Bolton just comes in right now and beats my team. Bolton just comes in right now and beats me. Uh, I mean, he could miss Thunderfang. No, it doesn't miss Thunderfang. I mean, he could have missed Thunderfang, right? I guess he could have missed Thunderfang. And then if he does, then I lose to Dragapult. But I don't know. Yeah, no. It, it, it's probably always Dragon Darts. In which case, um, my chances are significantly diminished. But I, but I brought it down to a two zero. Like that is um, that is nothing to not be proud of. I I, I think right. Uh, do we take one? No, we don't take one. Yeah, so it, so it, it, it was never going to work out because of the Bolt Hunt. Um, and I really never had answers to the Bolt Hunt. I really had to keep the Necrozma alive better. I, and I probably should have brought a set with um, with Moonlight. I probably should have treated it more as a defensive check to, to certain things. I really wanted to play this match hyper-offensively. But he out-hyper-offensed me with the Bolt Hunt. Because the, the Bolt Hunt hyper-offense always counteracted my hyper-offense. But honestly, what I really needed more than anything was to click Taunt on the Rotom and to have a Necrozma with Moonlight that could kind of 1v1 certain things. I think that's what I really needed uh, for this matchup to kind of work in my favor. But again, a 2-0 against Vepsis is uh, nothing to feel too bad about. I, I think both my last week matchups between Slacking and Vepsis were m reasonably strong. Uh, just a, a few things in team building that I could have tightened up, but it is difficult to feel badly about how this went, I think. Um, but that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon um, now that this season is over with more basically the ABL. And on top of that, the EBL will be coming back really, really soon. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And everyone's again, out.